Good morning. Um... Welcome to the vlog. Uh, today we're just gonna do like a little day in my life. I'm going to the Lower East Side tonight because it's my friend's birthday and I thought that would be fun to vlog because I have not been going downtown nearly as much as I'd wanted to this year. So I thought that'd be fun to take you along on and then we're just kind of, we're vibing today. We're just getting stuff done, getting some work done. Uh, so welcome, welcome to the vlog. If you're new here, my name's Alexis, I'm 25, I live in New York City. I, I had like a slow morning. I had my breakfast, I went and grabbed some Dunkin' and just kind of relaxed. I. <laughs> I uploaded my footage for the video I need to edit today. And so today's kind of like a YouTube day. I feel like recently I've been trying to break up my days into like YouTube days and theater days, and then some are both, but today is definitely a YouTube day where I'm just gonna focus on YouTube stuff before I leave to go to my friend's birthday dinner. That's what we're doing. I think I'm gonna make a little lunch. It's like, it just turned noon, but I'm like really hungry because all I had was a lot of bar this morning. So I'm gonna get a little snack, a little lunch, and then we're gonna edit meet some friends tonight and I don't know I, I feel like this is gonna be a very chill vlog I don't have like a ton to do but I just thought maybe we could we could hang out together because you know feeling lonely today would love to spend the day with a friend so unfortunately my rash and my redness has still not gone away but we're working on it um and if you don't know what I'm talking about because you're new here then it's a long story I had a reaction a few weeks ago to some water in other states <laughs> hoping I can get this vlog out in like two hours I mean we try to be done by 3.30 at the latest, it's one o'clock right now. I have my lunch, I'm eating a salad, <laughs> some cubes of cheese and chips and this mango salsa, which this mango salsa is amazing. It's from Whole Foods. I don't really like salsa. I'm not a huge fan of it. So it's a big deal that I, I bought salsa and I'm eating it. I've always been more of a dip person. So, but I love a mango salsa. So I'm gonna edit. Um, This seems like a good segue right now to talk about today's sponsor. So I'm gonna send you over to me with slightly drier hair talk about Epidemic Sound. I want to go ahead and take a minute to thank today's sponsor, Epidemic Sound. If you haven't heard me rave or talk about Epidemic Sound before, they're a platform that provides restriction-free music and sound effects to creators for them to use in their content. They have over 40,000 tracks and over 90,000 sound effects, which makes them the perfect platform for any type of creator's musical or sound needs. Having a wide variety of restriction-free music is very important as a content creator, especially on YouTube. Epidemic Sound has music and sounds for everyone, whether you're a YouTuber or a small business or some of the world's largest brands. They have a plan and a sound for you. There's personal plans as well as commercial plans, and when it comes down to picking out your music, you're able to search by genre, mood, tempo, length, and more to find your perfect song choice for your video. And that's just the basics. They have so many cool features. You can make playlists of your favorite songs, so you can share them with your followers or subscribers or friends. You can like any songs you come across to make sure those save to their own folder. A feature I use all the time is Find Similar. And that's for when you find a song that you like the vibe, but you wish there was something maybe a little different about it and you want to stay in that same realm, but find a song that works better for your specific type of content. I love using that button because it always leads me to the perfect song that I'm looking for. I have been a proud user of Epidemic Sound since 2021. I've been using them for two years now and I could not recommend them more. I have always said that I think music is one of the most important aspects of a YouTube video. I think that you can really use it to elevate your content and make your video that much more engaging and captivating. And so that is why I always recommend Epidemic Sound. I think they have definitely helped me with my content and making my videos that much more engaging. So if you are interested in a 30-day free trial of Epidemic Sound, I have a link in my description below that you can click on and go ahead and try them out for yourself. I would definitely take advantage of that and do that while you can. Thanks again to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. I just like feel so lazy. I don't want to go. Yeah. Video is live. Um... And I got it done in my time frame. I said I wanted it done by 3.30. And then after that, it just took a little longer for it to like process and upload. So it's four o'clock. Now let's get ready together for my friend's birthday dinner. My hair is pretty much dry. I let my natural hair dry. I think I wanna wear it natural because it's, since it's like the summer, I feel like it's getting curlier because it's like warmer and more humid out. I might add a few curls to it, but here's the natural hair. So let's do my makeup. I already put on my moisturizer a little bit ago and now I guess we, we can kind of like walk through my my skin routine, my makeup routine. I've been doing my makeup like this all week because um, I just got a ton of new products from Sephora. But I have been using the Colleen Rothschild Extreme Recovery Cream because we all know my face has had some issues. So I've been using that. That's already on. And then I've been using the Illuminating Tinted Eye Cream. So let's put that on. 
Okay. Sometimes I put a primer on, but it's not that deep today. Like I don't need a primer. Cause I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna do, I don't think I'm gonna do like eyeshadow and stuff. It's a Tuesday. We're keeping a simple makeup look. If I did use a primer, it would be the Rare Beauty one. Um, but so next I'm going to get out my concealer. I've been using Kosas concealer. I want to conceal just like on my face. I have like a scar, I guess, from a pimple that I had like over a month ago. And then my redness just all over my face right here. So... And now I'm gonna add a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I honestly don't usually put on skin makeup, but I've been doing it um, recently because I had this like redness going on. Ugh, this keeps like going out of focus. I'm not gonna put any actual foundation on because I don't see the point in that. Now we're gonna do a little bit of blush. I love using this Rare Beauty blush, and you might think this is insane how dark it is, but it really doesn't look like crazy on. This was the only color they had in stock when my mom got it for me for Christmas, but I like kind of love it. You have to put the littlest amount on, like a speck. And then I also have this Hourglass blush that has highlight in it. I'll go over that sometimes with it as well. Next is my Anastasia Brow Gel. Love this. This is my favorite. I used to have an eyebrow pencil. That was like way too dark. Like this was back in like 2018. Like when everyone was making their eyebrows like those dark squares. Then I got a gel, like a colored gel. But my eyebrows are so dark, especially ever since I've dyed my hair blonde. Um, that would just look insane. So I literally just brush them. I have very thick eyebrows. So all I have to do is brush them and I love it. And then last I'm going to do mascara. So I like using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk mascara and the Rare Beauty. I've always been someone who likes to use two mascaras. I can never just use one. I feel like you need like different aspects from different mascaras. I've made a grave mistake. Bummer. Got it on my shirt. Got it on my face. What the hell? I've never done something like this before. How do I get that? I need to like Google how to get this off because I feel like you don't just wipe it with water. Okay, once I'll change, I'll deal with this. I just tried wipe. It didn't go well. Let's, let's figure out what to wear. That That's my makeup routine. Maybe I'll spray a setting spray if I'm feeling crazy, but just it, we're just doing a little bit of makeup today. Fit check. I'm just wearing a black top and jeans. Nothing fancy or crazy at all. I think I'm gonna leave now and grab a drink before we go to the restaurant. I think I'm gonna walk there though to her office, which it's like an hour walk. But I wanna like call my mom and get outside. I feel like I haven't been outside today. I've been like editing all day and sitting inside. So, so that's what we're gonna do. My hair looks kind of crazy, but it's fine. All right, headed out. Gonna go on my walk. Oh, it's so dark in here. Gonna go on my walk and celebrate my friend's birthday. So let's go. So apparently New York is getting smoke from the Canadian wildfires. The sky is super hazy and the air quality is super bad. And I'm like freaking myself out that I really can't breathe. So I bought a water. I like didn't really know about this, but it feels mildly concerning. Um, so I might hop on a bus or stop walking at some point.
quality thing is actually like a little freaky. I have air purifiers. I have three of them <laughs> in my apartment. So I have those running, but yeah, the city is literally under like a haze from the Canadian wildfires. And last night when I was walking, it was like kind of bad and it was kind of gross outside. But then like as the night went on, it got like so much worse. Like it was just, I don't know. Like I stopped and got that water on my walk because I was like, can I breathe? I literally had like my sunglasses on and I should have just gotten on the subway or in a bus or something, but it was like rush hour and I, it was a whole thing. So I didn't, but I saw someone say that being outside all day is equivalent to like smoking six cigarettes in a day. Like that's how bad the air quality is. Right now it's at like 155. I don't know. I'm like, this is mildly concerning. It's the next morning. I'm going to the gym. I wanted to just do a day in my life, but I feel like I, anytime I try to do just like a singular day in my life and then I edit most of the day, it never like works out that well. You know what I mean? <laughs> I thought I would film a little bit of this morning too. Um, so I'm going to head over to the gym, do my workout, come back. I'm meeting with my managers today and I have, I need to, I have a lot of dishes I need to do actually. And like, well, a shocker to clean stuff up. I always have to clean something in my apartment. Which I'm always like, is that bad? I have to clean something every five seconds. Then at the same time, I'm like, maybe that's just like being in charge of like an apartment or a household you have to clean. Also, I got a comment saying that I film in the bathroom too much. I literally started filming this in the bathroom and I was like, you know what, I'll switch it up. I'll switch it up just for you. But I like filming in the bathroom. The lighting's nice and even. It doesn't matter if it's day or night. You know, out here, there's a lot of natural light. It depends on... I, I just, I like filming in the bathroom. I think it's nice, it's clear, it's concise. So I probably won't slow on filming in the bathroom, but I thought just this once, I'll switch up. But I just, I don't know, I like filming in my bathroom. Is that a crime? I'm just kidding, I'm just messing with it. I'm not, I'm not actually mad about the comment. I just, I thought it was funny. Like it's even so dark in my apartment because of the haze. Maybe later I should clean up this massive pile of clothes that I love to accumulate. Okay, so Bennett's in the mood right now where he wants to chase me around the apartment. Ready? The vibes in my apartment right now are giving, but not limited to, creepy, spooky, scary, um, another spooky word. It's just like, it's crazy, the fog and like the air outside from these fires. If you heard like a shh in the background, that's my air purifier. I like wanted to make sure to keep that on. Like when the sun was coming in when I was going to the gym, it's like so like tinted colored outside that the sun was coming in like orange. Um, it like looks like the sun is setting, but it's, it's not. So I just got home. I'm gonna take a shower. I'm meeting with my manager. I'm gonna make breakfast. I made up the meeting. I, I don't know why I like was like, oh, I definitely have a meeting today. I don't. Do we see how I look completely orange right now? That's because of this haze and this smoke that's coming in from the wildfires. Like I am radiating orange right now. It has gotten so much worse over the past few hours. Like usually I would change my settings on my camera to make myself not look like red or orangish, but like this is the vibes right now. It's freaking me out. My whole apartment is like so hazy. Like most people are wearing masks right now because the air quality is so bad. Ugh, I'm like scared to like breathe in. I have air purifiers going, but I just feel like, whoa, this is spooky. And I have so many things I wanna get done. Like I haven't even edited or worked on any of that yet because I've just been sitting on my couch for like an hour and a half, just like staring out the window being like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> this is so creepy behind me. Like. That is so creepy. And in all this chaos, I forgot to pour myself a coffee. I've been filming and editing some stuff. It's gotten better. Like I was able to turn off my lamp and like there's actual like light coming in and it's not as orange anymore. It's not as freaky. It does smell like smoke in here a little bit. It's getting better in terms of like, my windows aren't scaring the shit out of me anymore, but apparently the air quality is getting way worse. Canceled all my plans. I was supposed to hang out with a friend tonight. I was like, I'm literally staying inside. I cannot leave. So I'll be in here. Maybe I'll watch a movie. 
couch, been drinking my coffee, and I'm going to work on uploading footage and editing and getting everything done. I have been so distracted today because I can't stop obsessing about this. Like I'm constantly looking out the window, I'm like looking up news articles, I'm like looking up the air quality. I gotta chill. I gotta just focus on my work because I think it was so dark too. I was like, oh, I don't wanna do anything. Mm. He's just chilling. Okay, significantly less orange. The air quality is up to 312. Like that is, New York City literally has the worst air quality in the entire world right now. No exaggeration. Are we okay? I know I've said this 12 times, but I'm staying inside. I'm not gonna go out there. I'm still editing, I'll make dinner in a little bit. So much editing, but I'm finishing up the video I've been working on all day. It's really just been an editing day for me. And good thing, because I am not stepping foot out there. And no vlog would be complete without a cleaning segment, of course. What's wrong? He's been like running around and like freaking out all day. So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog by cleaning all this mess and maybe making my bed for once. It's so dark. I don't even sit at this table anymore. I just put clothes on it. Time to do the dishes. It is way better outside. It is not that orange anymore. And the air quality spiked up to like the highest, was like maybe like 340 or 350. Um, but now it seems to be back at like two something. So maybe it's getting better. I am going to do the dishes. Cause as you can see, I have a million clean dishes and a million dirty dishes. So I'm gonna do that to prep to make my dinner for tonight. All right, cleaned my dishes, made my lettuce wraps. I think I'm gonna call it quits here. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I honestly didn't even mean to vlog this much of today, but I feel like things were just so chaotic with the air quality that I had to vlog about it. So I wanna say thanks again to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. And I wanna say thank you again for watching. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.